All right, let's uh, move on now. The city of Lagos is agog, and expectedly is because of the FIFA executive summit that's going to hold uh, in Nigeria. A lot of dignitaries uh, around. The football world is excited. The attention shifts to Nigeria in the next three days, especially the city of Lagos, where uh, the summit uh, will uh, be taking place. FIFA president Gianni Infantino is already in town. And of course, if the FIFA president is in town, uh, that also makes you know that every other person Every other person that is involved in football that will be a part uh, of this summit. Uh, this was his uh, uh, arrival, um, and he paid a costly visit to uh, the Lagos State um, uh, Governor. A lot of dignitaries, the CAF president uh, is around, the FIFA Secretary General Fatma Samura uh, around. Uh, I mean, everybody uh, in Lagos, uh, you know, coming to see uh, and, and be a part of that, um, uh, you know. Uh, event. Uh, it's good that things like this are happening uh, in Nigeria. In your, but let me quickly get your, your reaction before we listen to the FIFA president and the governor of Lagos State. A lot of uh, ideas being thrown, uh, uh, partnership, and um, I mean, the, the FIFA president really happy uh, and, and thanking the Lagos State uh, government for uh, being their host. It's very profound. It's quite very outstanding to know that Nigeria, Africa were involved in, in the global game. I mean, having to host a man of this nature who's, who is number one in football in, by the strictest sense of the word is just great. And we've got to thank the, the, the leadership of the Nigerian Football Federation because mm -hmm. the initiative, they are, they, are, they are carrying themselves, carrying the associations quite so well and being able to, to lure, if I'm allowed to use that word, to lure the FIFA president to come here for the FIFA summit. It's quite outstanding, and the Lagos State government also have been very supportive. And it's wonderful to see the powers that be in football globally gather, gathering in Africa and gathering in the city of Lagos, and it's it's quite wonderful. All right, let's listen to the FIFA president Yanni Fantino, uh, what he has to say, and also uh, Lagos State Governor Akemi Ambade, what both had to say um, when they met earlier today. Dear Governor, I would like to thank you for welcoming us in Lagos for a FIFA Executive Football Summit. It is a very important meeting uh, which will take place uh, tomorrow. Uh, here with representatives from top executives, president, general secretaries of uh, 15 to 20 associations from around the world, from Europe from uh, uh, North and Central America and from Africa. And uh, it's part of FIFA's new democratic system where we discuss with all our stakeholders what to go for the future of the uh, game. So we have already decided to increase uh, the number of teams in the World Cup from 32 to 48. I want to say sincerely that we are so excited that Lagos is playing host to this FIFA Executive Football Summit. This is going to be the second African city that is going to host this kind of meeting, and we're excited that <laughs> you decided that Lagos should play host to this. It's very important for us because, you know, soccer is really, you know, all the way from Lagos here, and, you know, we are able to show you the kind of facilities and the things that football can actually, you know, do to us as a nation. Yeah, talking about the power of football uh, right there, the uh, Lagos Governor excited to have uh, uh, in his company, the, the FIFA uh, president and all the delegates, and also pointing out the second African city to uh, be bestowed with such yeah. honor, uh, it must be said. And I agree with you when you said uh, some of the praise should, should go to the leadership of the Nigerian Football Federation, um, you know, having this, uh, this is the second time Infantino, um, if, yeah, second time Infantino uh, is coming here. And if you can attract the big mm. wigs, uh, in world football, it shows that we're probably going in the right direction. Absolutely, we're, go we're doing something right. And because the FIFA president doesn't go anywhere he feels like. I mean, to, be, to, to come to Nigeria, I mean, you were talking about the FIFA summit happening in Africa, on African soil for the second time. And to be able to attract a man of his magnitude is absolutely brilliant. And, and I'll keep saying it, the leadership of the NFF are doing something great. And I'm imagining has got to take a lot of credit and, and members of his he, of, of the committee and it's it's great to see a man of that nature come on the african continent and 
I feel that this is developmental. I feel that African football will develop because mm -hmm. when FIFA president comes here, I'm sure that um, Ahmad Ahmad is there, the CAF president, so the ideas will be thrown all over the place. And I feel that FIFA will genuinely be looking at African, developing African football to a level of not necessarily European football, but at least get it up a notch a little bit. Yeah, and when, when uh, he, he bust onto the scene, talking about Gianni Fantino, talking about transparency, mm. uh, talked about, um, you know, his vision for football, and it, it seems, maybe it's too early to say, mm. that it seems that he, he finds a friend in, in calf, you know, so to speak, he agrees with their vision, they agree with his, and everything seems to be working uh, in, in tandem, and that's why I think it's always very easy for them to have him come here, have him uh, do some of those things, and you know, when stakeholders, you know, when they meet, Usually they come up with ideas. I mean, in some, in some of the things he said, look, this is the time we will come together, you know, brainstorm ideas, and you begin to feel that something good might just come out, something that probably mm. in terms of development might, might favor us as a country or favor um, African, you know, countries as well, you know, and of course, a lot of stakeholders around. Absolutely. We got really excited when Ahmad Ahmad took over because for, for some reason, we know he's not hired to do this bit for, for CAF for so many years, but we wanted something new, wanted someone to come in and bring new ideas. And that's what Ahmad Ahmad has been able to do. I mean, he's... Have, um, the Africa Cup of Nations has been moved from, from January to, 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 to the summer. I mean, the remunerations in the CAF competi club competitions and all of that. So it's exciting a to see. A lot of ideas. Trying to make ideas. the calendar with Europe you know, the same. Absolutely. Trying so, to stop the CAF Champions League front from being played both legs. I mean, a lot of those things. Yeah, because as the leader of FIFA, you've got to be able to identify with these ideas, these exciting ideas. These, these are revolutionizing the game and getting it quite exciting because football has got to be exciting it's a beautiful game and anything to make it more suitable more more attractive more more exciting then we welcome it and, and we i know that jenny infant is, is a man a man has got real class and he's humble he's ready to listen he's ready to to take on ideas there's no bit of um, that cockiness to him because you know honestly that office is massive but to be able to make a bit of impression you've got to listen to other federations you've got ideas no more nobody's an amalgam of knowledge so it's great to see the man getting down and, and associating himself with people who are developmental in terms of their thought process. Yeah, all right. So um, we're, we're excited that this, uh, he hasn't started, everything's going to start tomorrow. But of course, there's nothing bigger than when the, the, the head of, the, of world football comes, uh, you know that um, that signals what is going to be uh, the beginning of that summit. And, and hopefully, uh, when the stakeholders uh, sit down, when they brainstorm, uh, they would come up with ideas that will make football uh, better in, not just in Nigeria, not just in Africa, uh, but uh, in uh, the world. And um, in your book, I'm tempted to ask you, uh, you know, when you look at these individuals like Ahmad Ahmad uh, Infantino, they made a lot of promises, uh, Infantino in his own case, Ahmad Ahmad in his own case, they made a lot of promises, and it looks like they are walking in that direction. Mm. Um, I'll still maintain that. It, probably, early probably, days, early, yeah. but, <laughs> But some of the promises, true to what, you know, Infantino talked about it there about, you know, 48 teams at the World Cup. He went ahead, pushed for it, got it. And I'm not true, some of the promises uh, that is made, you know, uh, the, the Nations Cup, uh, how they want to, you know, increase the number of teams, how they want to ensure that, you know, some teams just get the chance to play at the Nations Cup. Some, some might not even, you know, and you look at all of those ideas, some of the things they said, they're not doing it. And you, and you want to think that if these guys can continue mm. the way they started, it might just be good for, for world football and African football. I, I totally agree with you because I've heard this thing many times that a leader is one who knows the way, shows the way, and goes the way. And this is exactly what this gentlemen that you've mentioned are doing, Ahmad Ahmad, obviously coming into office and, and trying so much to, to, to get African football on a very good pace. And he's done that clearly. And you've talked about Gianni Infantino. I mean, I admired him for many years as FIFA secretary. I mean, he's been, he's done great. And in terms of trying to make football an all commerce affair, making football, even the Minos, I mean, when you talk about 48 teams at the World Cup, you're trying to give an opportunity to people who, in their wildest imagination, wouldn't have ever thought of playing at the World Cup tournament. So it's great because, you know, you, 
we humans, we find it very difficult to, to accept change. But when you find a man coming and, and do things like that, you've got to give him credit. All right, got to give him credit. And I do agree uh, with Il Iniobong uh, with that one. All right, let's go on a break. When we return, we talk about women's football. We talk about our teams, um, how they fed. Uh, you know, talk about the Flamingos, the Falcons. We'll do all that for you when we return from this break.